The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with the women. And Mary, the mother of Jesus and his brethren, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, my brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. <clears throat> the just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked the lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just, he loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
Alleluia. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to John. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper, and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that that disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we prepare to celebrate the great feast of Pentecost and the coming of the Holy Spirit, there are, of course, the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit that we are given at baptism and are strengthened at confirmation, and we pray that they increase each day, but especially on the feast of Pentecost. And today, I'd like to give two different two examples of the gift of fortitude. St. Thomas defines the gift of fortitude as a firmness of mind in doing good and avoiding evil, particularly when it is difficult or dangerous to do so, and the confidence to overcome all obstacles, even deadly ones, by virtue of the assurance of eternal life. The first example of fortitude is that we have today in the first reading of the great apostle to the Gentiles, St. Paul, who even after he is taken to Rome and is there in under guard continues to meet and evangelize. Even though he is, is guarded, he still meets with the Jews in Rome to explain to him why he's there and that he's there to proclaim to them the fulfillment of the promises that God has made to Israel. And then throughout two years' time, he continues to receive everyone that comes to him, preaching the gospel, proclaiming the kingdom of God and the salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, until eventually, as we all know, he meets his own martyrdom. He completes that, that you might say, the greatest and the fulfillment of that gift of fortitude by giving his life for Christ. And we know that St. Paul was present at the martyrdom of the first martyr, the proto-martyr, St. Stephen, even participating 
in the, his martyrdom. And by his example, seeing St. Stephen give his life for our Lord, follows in his example and gives his life for our Lord as well. Another example of fortitude is that of the first martyr of the Dominican order, St. Peter of Verona. In the 13th century, there was a heresy, a schism in the church called the Carthars or the Albigensians. And it seems that it had affected even St. Peter of Verona's family. But it was he went to the city of Bologna, not far from Verona in the north of Italy. And it was there that he encountered St. Dominic himself and his preaching. St. Dominic was, had influenced many of the students and even the professors there at the University of Bologna. It said that there that St. Peter received the Dominican habit from St. Dominic and that he began to follow him in the religious life, that he would give himself over to contemplation and prayer, and that even martyrs, the virgin martyrs, St. Cecilia and St. Agnes, would appear, would appear to him and converse with him, and you might say, to help him prepare for his own martyrdom. It was he began to preach very effectively against this heresy that was widespread in the north of Italy, of the Cathars or the Albigensians, a kind of Gnosticism that was, were leading people away from the Catholic faith. But he was having so much success, and some of these people having means and influence, they paid someone to assassinate him. And before his assassination, he knew that the price had been paid for his death. And he said this, I know that the heretics have decreed my death, and that the price of it has already been deposited. But let the heretics have no illusions because I will do more against them after I am dead than I have fought against them while I live. It was then that he was traveling in between cities preaching that the assassins met him in the forest, and he is often depicted with the instrument with which he was killed. It was a, a kind of an axe, and he was he, he was hit in the head with the axe, but before he died, he rose up to God, he prayed for his persecutors, and in using his own blood, he wrote in the dirt, in the soil, credo in Deum, I believe in God, seen as the first words of the creed that he lived and died for the proclamation of the Orthodox Catholic faith. And with great fortitude, he gave his life for our Lord and for the Holy Church. <clears throat> so let us pray today as we are on the, the eve, you might say, the vigil of the great feast of Pentecost, that we too might follow the great example of the, the martyrs, that we too might have this great confidence in eternal life, that we might endure whatever difficulties, challenges, tests, persecutions that the Lord puts before us with a great confidence in the grace and strength and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let us offer our prayers to the Father who attends to our needs. 
for church leaders, may the Lord fill their minds and hearts with the joy of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who ho formulate public policy, may the Lord strengthen them in their work defending the right to life from conception until natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For those who suffer from addiction, may God's grace give them strength in their battles and bring them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the youth in our community discerning a vocation to the priesthood or religious life, may they be confident in our love, support, and prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, and especially for Tony Roberts, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, may our merciful Lord grant them his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, giver of every good gift, lift in, listen to our petitions and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless me, God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all God's May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit Himself is the remission of all sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbath, Venis in Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Oscana in Excelsis, Ene,
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay, quit all these peccatories, On you stay, quit all these peccatories, On you stay. We told his peccatamuni, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Holy Spirit will glorify me, for he will take from what is mine and declare it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii eve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hoc lacrimae. 